Uh, today, let's see. Today, have all of your props handy, actually. And if you don't have the small bolster like this, just roll up a blanket and have it so it can support you along your spine and also long enough to support the back of your head. Have a strap handy. And some of you may need a block. So we're going to make our way down. Today, we're going to do some more lengthening uh, mobility stuff, moving a little slower from our heated flows that we have been doing. So let's come into our Supta Baddha Konasana on the support. Have the support right up against your lower back, unless that does not feel good for you, right? So if that doesn't feel good, push it away a little bit and have it just across underneath the shoulder blades and up and still taking that Supta Baddha Konasana. So supports underneath those outer hips if you need them, right? To support the cobbler's pose here. Or if that doesn't feel good for you, feet on the mat, knees together, legs even straight. Do what works for your body here in this moment, right? It might not always be the same. So become aware of that information. Let's lie back, find balance across your back body. Relax the shoulders. Feel your arm bones getting heavy here. So the chest opens a little bit more. Soften your groin, soften your hips. Allow those legs to drop open. Eyes are closed. Gaze is within. And bring your awareness to the flow of breath in and out through your nostrils. Stay present if the mind starts to wander. Just come back to the awareness of your breathing. Find stillness but a softness in your pose. Is there anywhere in your body that you can release? Let go of resistance. Bring the awareness to the brow. Start to look deep within, behind your eyes, down into the throat, soften the neck and the throat, and rest your attention at your open heart space. Open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Bring your awareness back to your body, back to the position you're in right now, to the experience of the pose. Let's take a soft blink of the eyes open and reconnect with the surroundings where you are right now. And let's draw those legs in, squeeze the inner thighs in, take your knees against each other, walk your feet wider apart, feet a little forward here, and just take a couple breaths in this opposite position here. Just one more opportunity to completely release over your support. And feet together. Let's swing ourselves to the side a little bit. Roll off of your support. Move it out of the way. Roll back onto your back. Have your strap handy. Oh, we'll use it in a little bit. And place your feet. Uh, let's bring the knees in, actually. So bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. A little rocking back and forth. Drop the lower back into the mat. So we just had a little curve. We're going the other way. And then just start to make circles. So we're going to make circles to the right. You can hold on to your knees. You can do this with arms out to the side and take bigger circles, right? Just make sure you've got core engagement here. And then go the other way.
And let's come back to center. Drop your knees over to the right into a twist. Both legs over to the right. Scoop that right shoulder blade out. Arms wide, gaze to the left. Softening that left hip down, feeling the length here. Take a deep breath into your twist. And squeeze the legs back to center, over to the left. Even out the back, gaze to the right, and right hip down. And squeeze those inner thighs in, bring the legs back to center, and both feet on the mat. So we're going to straighten out the right leg along the mat. And we're going to just arms out to the side, arms down here. It doesn't really matter. Just be comfortable. And bring the right knee in. And extend that right leg as straight as you can. So it might not go that high, but go for a straight leg and slowly. So we're going to move as if we're moving through mud. There's no momentum here. Straighten the leg out, bring it back down. Knee in. As you bring the knee in, press that sitting bone away from you. Move with consciousness, with awareness. Leg goes straight and down towards the mat with activation throughout that leg. We'll take a point of the foot there. We're going to point. Bring the knee in. Don't drop your lower back into the mat. Straighten out the leg. We've got a little ballet point as we're doing that. And then we're going to point as we go down. So spread your toes. You're fanning your toes out. But you still have the arch of your foot active there. Knee in. Point the toes. Just kind of feeling the hip joints in the knee. And point. And just moving through the foot as well. And full extend down towards the mat. And one more. Knee in. Straighten that leg out as best as you can. Spread your toes wide and bring that leg back down to the mat. And let's draw it in and straighten it out. So you're welcome to hold on to your leg, put a strap under your leg here, or just have the leg be up. And we're going to move through the foot. We're going to point the toes and roll through, press the heel up. So you can see your ankle here, even if it's down there, just kind of check it out, right? And make sure that you're not wobbling all over the place. So point. Roll through and heel up to the sky. Roll, spread your toes. Reach through the top of the foot and pull the toes back. Heel up to the sky. Get that calf opening and press through. And pull it back. And one more like this. And you might start getting tired in your shins or your calves. And let's just shake it out. We're going to make circles to the right without the leg moving. So just in the ankle joint. I haven't done a lot with feet specifically lately, right? So you guys know if you practice with me for a while that this is ultimate. This is so important to have an understanding of your feet and your foundation. Let's go to the left, circles to the left, and just wiggle it out. Try to use as much of your toes as you can and try to keep this leg straight. If your leg starts to get tired, you could take a little bend to the knee, right, and do that. Good, and then just shake it out. So place your foot down, grab your strap. Now let's place the strap on the ball mounds of that foot. Spread your toes, let's draw it in. So as you draw in again, if you're tight here, the leg's not gonna come obviously very high. You can still be active here. Press through the ball mounds of the foot, active through the quads, and we're pulling. So the elbows are down here, we're not like this creating tension in the shoulders. I just, I give it as an example because I see it so often. And so just bring your elbows down and draw that leg in. So you're pulling, but you're also resisting with this right leg. Quads pressing into the hamstrings. If you're really open here, right, super flexy, try not to pop through the back of the knee. So we're pulling, the leg is resisting. We've got a lot of activation going on here. And now we're just going to soften a little bit of the activation. So relax the leg a little bit and then pull from here. So just the sitting bone pushing away instead of having that quad super active. And just see if you have a little more space. And let's do that one more time. Super active. Press into the strap. Squeeze your thigh. Push your sitting bone down. Pull. Breathe. Keep checking your back that you have a little curve there. And now we're going to relax the leg a little bit and see if you have a little bit more space. Keep that sitting bone drawing away. Okay, and let's release. Place that foot down. Left leg goes straight along your mat. Point through the toes. Left knee in. Leg goes straight. 
Float your foot and down to slow motion. Right? And in as if you're pushing up against something, that hip is moving away from you. Point the toes, Flex, uh, point. So spread the toes, just put the toes and down. And knee in, we point. Reach up through those toes, straighten the leg as best as you can, point the foot and extend that leg all the way down to the mat. And knee in, where does it feel like in your hips? In your knee joint, reach, spread those toes, leg comes down. Good, one more, knee in, point the toes. Keep that curve in your back, reach up, spread the toes and down and knee in. So we're gonna go through the foot now. Again, hold on if you like to or strap and roll through and see if you can roll through the entire foot. Move slowly for those of you that speed through. See if you can challenge yourself. If it's hard for you to move slowly, maybe you can just do it a little bit slower and roll through, press the heel up, spread the toes, reach to the top of the foot. Just imagine yourself on playback in slow motion and point and flex, heel up to the sky. Try to find as much of that neutral ankle as you can and back and press through and back. Good. Let's start to make circles to the left. As wide as you can get here, wiggling the toes, keeping that leg static, and swing it around. And let's go the other way, swing it into inner circles to the right. Get to know your feet and relax and shake it out. Grab your strap. Let's do the left side here. Point that foot and pull. Elbows down. Spread your toes wide. Breathe all the while, always. And let's draw that leg in. Super active. You're pulling. Your thigh is resisting. Your sitting bone is pressing away. So if you do that and you notice that you start to rotate open when you push your sitting bone away, just squeeze the inner thigh in and back as well so you can get more into balance behind that leg, neutral leg, and the hamstrings. Breathe. Is your center connected? Are you connected to your core? Super active. And now soften the quads a little bit. Keep that sitting bone pushing away and see if you can find just a little bit more space. And let's activate. Lift up that kneecap. Press into the back of the leg. Again, softness for those of you that hyperextend behind the knee there. Resist with that sitting bone as you pull. Make sure that your ankle is neutral, that you haven't sickled. I was on my way there, I just noticed. So bring it back to neutral position if it is. Make sure the pinky toe side of your foot is pulling back as well so it's not curling up. And let's relax that thigh a little bit and pull. And soften, breathe, and let your strap go. Let's release that a little bit out of the way. Take your feet wide apart. Let's drop to the right into a windshield wiper. And drop to the left. And bring it back to center, knees into the chest. Let's rock ourselves vertically along the mat and just swing yourself up and around. Let's come into a little lunge pose here. Right knee to right foot to the top of the mat, left knee back. And hands on the mat, hands on a block if you need to, right? If you have supports with you, we're gonna bend the back knee and just lean into the left hip there and drop that foot down and walk ourselves back into half split pose. Spread the toes, drop yourself over that right leg, hips drawing back evenly, come back into the lunge, bend your knee, drop into that left hip, open your heart. And walk it back, exhale, half split pose, Ardha Hanumanasana, let yourself drop over that leg. Walk it back in, bend your knee, lift the heart, and walk it back, straighten that leg, drop over the leg. 
Come back into the lunge, place your left palm down and swing that right arm up and around. And we're just gonna make big wide circles here. Swing it around, reach through the side body and up and around. Bring it back down and switch legs. Left leg forward, right leg back. Inch your knee back, rock on top of that kneecap, bend the knee, lean into it. Lift your heart a little bit and we walk back into our half split. Let the head drop and bring the pelvis forward. Lift your heart, bend your knee, drop it down, sink it back. Okay, come back into the lunge. Draw that right hip forward and draw that left hip back. Come back into the lunge, gra uh, ground with your right palm and we reach up and around, swing that arm up and around. Nice movement, conditioning in the shoulder joint. Up and around and come back down. Let's take our plank pose. So we're not avoiding that today. Step it back, we have to do some strength here. So, well, we don't have to, but it's part of the sequence. So let's take our high plank, unless you need to take um, forearm plank. So um, if the wrists don't like this, you can take fists as well. And let's get into it. So push down, draw the elbows back, open up your heart, and spread those shoulder blades, open the collarbones, get your toes under you. So we just did all that work in our feet and our legs. Get to know them. Push down into the mat with your feet, the ball mounds of your feet. Lift up those kneecaps, feel the backs of the legs, all that work we just did. Use your glutes, get into those butt muscles, hug your thighs a little bit, breathe, use your breath. It helps a lot. Gaze is just ahead of you. And we're going to do everybody's favorite thing. We're gonna walk our plank. So come down onto your right arm, come down onto your left arm, shoulders over the elbows. Squeeze that belly up to the sky, pull it up, right palm, left palm, and breathe. You can do this from your knees if you need to. Left uh, forearm, right, shoulders right over those elbows, left, push it up, right, move with awareness. Come down to the right arm, left arm, take a breath. Elbows draw back, shoulders draw back, press up, and left. Right, hips come with you, and left, right. Let's do one more of each. Right, left, breathe. Scoop your center up as you push up. Right, left, one more, left, right, and left, right. Come to puppy dog pose, toes together, knees wide, chest, Opens up as you drop down. Let your forehead rest here. Stretch out your front body. One more deep breath. Let's walk the hands back a little bit. So come up onto your palms. We're going to float the right arm up to the sky. Try not to swing this hip out and Thread your arm underneath, ear down, shoulder down, and back into that opening. Open twist, reach up to the sky, left shoulder rolls back, and swing it under, ear down, shoulder down as far down as you can get it, and swing it back up, reach that heart open. This one we hold, shoulder down, ear down. Keep those left fingers over the top of your head here, scoop that shoulder blade under you, and walk your left fingers to the right. Left hip draws into the body so it's not swinging and those left ribs spin up. Breathe into the side of your body. See if you can move from your center, from the side, right? Scoop those left ribs up, bring it back to neutral position for that left arm and right arm comes out in front. Left arm scoops up to the sky, left shoulder under you, left ear down to the mat, inhale, open it up, reach, exhale, spin it under you, scoop that right hip into your body and up, 
and under we stay here and breathe. So spread the shoulder blade out, right fingers walk over to the left. As you pull the right hip in, right, you're scooping those right ribs up. Move from that space, breathe. One more breath here, really finding that spiral. Walk your hands back to neutral. Reach that left hand out in front of you. Come back up onto the hands and knees. Downward facing dog, up and back. Let's take a couple breaths here. Pedal your dog out. Perhaps you could already feel all of that length we've created in your practice so far. The head is dropped, but the shoulders aren't dropped, right? So the shoulders are going the other way. Hugging into the armpits, elbows drawing back. Find that little check mark of your thumb and index finger and press down. And right foot floats to the top of the mat. Left heel drops, wiggle your arms up to standing straight legs. And we're gonna move our way into triangle pose. So reach, turn that palm in, push into your calf. Left arm up to the sky. For those of you that have more space, you go lower. Draw both glutes into the body. We're going to bend that front knee and come into Virabhadrasana 2. Take the left hand behind your back. Peaceful warrior. Look down. Back into side angle pose. Reach. Reach that left arm up. You can windmill it around or you can reach it up and over. Back into triangle pose. Breathe. Here we're dressing a two. Bring yourself into the middle. Peaceful warrior. Look back. Reach the right side of the body. Side angle pose. Reach. Left arm up and over the head. Right shoulder back. Draw those ribs up. Triangle pose. Straighten your front leg out. Use your breath. Back to warrior two, back to peaceful warrior. One more, reach, side angle pose. We'll reach the side of your body, straighten it out into triangle pose and arms up, feet to go to the back of the mat, line yourself up, straight legs, triangle pose, reach. Try not to do that, reach, control your hips, bring it down. Come into whatever space you have here. So drawing those glutes in, opening up the side of the body. Warrior two, wrap your back hand, look down towards that back ankle. Peaceful warrior, Parjro Konasana. Reach up and open, breathe. Triangle pose, straighten that front leg, pull the right ribs back a little bit. Vera two, pull yourself into your warrior, wrap your back hand, peaceful warrior. Side angle pose, reach, arm up and around. Straighten your front leg, triangle pose. Bend your front knee, warrior two. Wrap your back hand, peaceful warrior. Windmill it down, side angle pose. Back into Trikonasana. Windmill the arms up, take your feet parallel, step to the top of your mat. So Sitihi Mountain Pose. Nice work, let's make our way back down to our mats and just lie down. We'll take a final twist here. Right knee over the left knee. You can bind your foot under your calf if you have that space and drop your knees to the right. Even the back out, gaze to the left. Deep breath here. Squeeze the legs back to center, switch. Left on top of right, bind if you have that space. Even the back out, gaze to the right, right hip down. Bring it back to center. 
Shavasana. Give your body space, even it out. Open yourself, prop yourself under your knees or your head if you need to. Let go of your breathing. If you're controlling your breath still, let that go. Close your eyes. Just feel your body. Feel your joints. All of that space we moved into today. Building strength, finding length. Just experience it in your body. Feel that heaviness of the body, completely releasing all of your weight into the earth in order to find the light. Be aware of the soles of your feet. Move the awareness over the feet, the ankles, the lower legs, to the knees, over the upper legs, to the hips. Be aware of your pelvic floor and the bowl of your pelvis. Be aware of the belly rising and falling. Be aware of your heart center. The shoulders, the upper arms and elbows. The lower arms and wrists and your hands all the way to the tips of your fingers. Be aware of your throat, the neck. Be aware of the breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. Be aware of the brow. Soften and gaze within. Let yourself go for another few moments. Bring your awareness back to the breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. Come back to your body, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, bake it up. Keeping your eyes closed, stretch the arms up over the head, full fingertips to toes, stretch here. Hug your knees into your chest, rock back and forth gently. Make your way to your side into seated position and rise up to seated with the eyes closed. Sit tall, fill all that space you've created in your practice. Let's take the palms to prayer. 
thumbs to the heart to draw the chin in. Bow the head forward and bow down to your ability to change, to release yourself from old stories, to grow in a healthy way. And bow down to your heart and your light, finding that growth coming from that place. Honor that space within all beings and from deep within your heart, let us send a collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And now take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Let's see what today's angels have to say. Number one, we have support. Number two, adventure. I'll take it. And number three, integrity. So important. Tomorrow is our weekly yin practice where we really surrender. I will see you then.